subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome dear learners today we are going to discuss about the environmental performance index so environmental performance index and environmental sustainability index have been found useful for formulating more functional concept of environmental sustainability or environmental sustainable development and for uh, environmental decision making so the 2000 environmental sustainability index the predecessor to the environmental performance index first responded to the growing needs for rigorous data driven environmental performance measurement and in 2012 environmental performance index the seventh in, in iteration of uh, the of this environmental measurement project adds to the foundation of empirical support for the sound policy making and breaking uh, further ground for establishing the first time a basing basis for the tracing changes in performance over the time so environmental performance index is a comprehensive is a comprehensive performance profile profiling system to rank how well the countries perform on high priority environmental issues in protecting ecosystem and health uh, maybe it the human health or uh, any kind of uh, environmental harm so <clears throat> this environmental performance index is basically uh, based on the environmental health and environmental vitality which will be, be discussing uh, further in this lecture and uh, further this environmental performance index is based on environmental indicators so these indicators give the various qualitative and quantitative measurement about the environmental health and, and ecosystem vitality so environmental indicator is a quantitative variable used to identify pressures on the environment and environmental conditions or policy responses or trends thereof so why we need environmental performance index so first to provide an insight of existing environmental data and information so what is the existing kind of environmental uh, pollution in air water soil what is uh, what type of resources we have uh, what is the health of biodiversity and habitat agriculture forestry fisheries so this gives an insight of environmental data and then better understanding on environmental challenges faced at local national and global level so this gives a better understanding how can we face the challenges uh, particularly the environmental challenges that are at local level national level and at global level so last one is to access uh, to important environmental data organize it in a way that is easily understandable useful and drives productive motivation for the improvement so in environmental performance index it is a biennial index prepared by the yale university and columbia university in collaboration with the world economic forum it offers scorecard that highlights leaders and laggards in environmental performance and provides practical guidance for countries to aspire to move towards sustainable future basically it is in collaboration with the environmental that are the sustainable development goals so this environmental performance index is uh, having the various indicators that are closely related with the sustainable development goals that are 17 sustainable development goals after 2012 so this index was published in uh, 2002 designed to supplement the environmental targets set forth in united nations millennium development goals 
So Environmental Performance Index provides a data-driven summary of state of sustainability around the world. And it uses around 32 performance indicators. Some of the indicators uh, we will be discussing in the, the coming slides. So performance indicators are 32 across 11 issue categories and the rank of EPA is 180 countries over environmental health means out of 180 the countries are given the index on environmental health and vitality so environmental health and vitality are the objectives in which the 30 percent of weightage is given to the environmental health and 70 percent of the weightage is given to the environmental vitality so these indicators provide a gauge at national scale of how close get, uh, countries are to establish environment environmental policy targets so the environmental performance index offers a scorecard that highlights leaders and laggards environmental performance provides a practical guidance for the country to aspire so <clears throat> towards the sustainable future so these are the objectives first is uh, environmental health uh, that is around the 40 percent and environmental vitality in earlier in 2012 uh, uh, in 2012 it was around uh, 30 percent of weightage used to be given on environmental health and 70 percent of weightage was given to the vitality but in 2020 the weightage has been changed to 40% for the environmental health and 60% to the environmental vitality. And likewise, in environmental health, the categories are in the air, water quality, and heavy metals. And the indicators are the air pollution, uh, household exposure, then uh, particulate matter, unsafe sanitation, drinking water quality, lead expo uh, exposure. And in environmental vitality, we have biodiversity and habitat. Uh, we have marine uh, biome protection, species uh, uh, biome protection global and national level, species index, representativeness index, species uh, habitat index, and then foresters. We have also some indicators, climate and energy, fishery. So these are all the issue categories, objectives, and indicators. There are around 32 indicators in 2020. Uh, this uh, environmental performance index earlier there were only around um, uh, in 2012 there were around uh, 22 performance indicators so now there are 32 performance indicators so about EPI is uh, EPI indicators provide a way to spot problems, set target, track trends, understand outcomes, and identify best policy practices. So good data and fact-based analysis can also help government officials redefine their policy agendas and facilitate communication with key stakeholders and maximize the return on environmental investments. EPA also offers a powerful tool in support of efforts to meet the targets of UN Sustainable Development Goals and to move society towards the sustainable future. So overall, EPA rank, ranking indicates which country is the best to address the environmental challenges that every nation uh, faces and good uh, going beyond uh, the aggregate uh, scores and drilling down into the data to analyze performance by category, uh, policy objective, peer groups, and country offers even greater value for the policymakers. Granular, wave, and comparative perspective can assist in understanding the determinants of environmental progress and in redefining the policy choices. So, so some key points uh, at last. So Environmental Performance Index 2020 measures environmental performance of 180 country. So earlier it was only measured for around 132 countries in 2012. Now it is measured for 180 countries. So it has 32 indicators for Environmental Performance Index, uh, including 10-year training in environmental performance at national and global level. So the Denmark 
tops the index with a score of 82.5 in 2012 epi index it was uh, switzerland that uh, tops uh, this environmental uh, performance index with a score of 76.69 so uh, in 2020 it is the denmark so india scores uh, around 168 uh, in the rank in 12th edition that is in 2020 so india's performance is around 27.6 out of 100 so it is very uh, less kind of environmental impact uh, index performance index and uh, it is performance was worse than all south asian country except afghanistan india scores below regional south asia average score on all five key parameters on environmental health including environmental uh, including air quality sanitation drinking water heavy metal waste management so these are the five key points in which the india performance was very worse that is air quality sanitation drinking water heavy metals and waste management so to improve overall performance in the environmental performance index india needs to have a rigorous and sustainable approach in these three uh, in these five key parameters a 10 uh, year comparative progress report in the index showed that india slipped on the climate related parameters so definitely uh, when these uh, climate related parameters uh, get slipped then india performance in environmental performance performance index also gets slipped so this was a brief uh, lecture about an uh, environmental performance index thank you